Do you want to know how does it look like living in a beautiful city like Merida, in a renovated home in Merida Centro? Come with me. Hello community, how are you? I'm Chuy Gastelum, your broker, owner, and real estate agent, buyer representative of Home and Investment. We are here in Merida, Yucatan, as you can see. And before I tell you the whole story about this beautiful property, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. In the description, you will find my WhatsApp number so you can send me a text right away or the email account as well where you can find me. Or even if you already know that this property is for you, you can book a Google Meets right away. Let's talk a little bit more because I want to explain in detail the legal procedures to buy a property in Merida, Yucatan, the fiscal as well situation that you need to know. And after that, it's all about pleasure. So let me tell you now the brief story about this beautiful house where we are located right now. Everyone talks about Merida Centro, but nobody explains in detail how it's structured. So here's the map, as you will see, that brings the seven neighborhoods that Merida Centro has to offer you. And I bring this to the matter because obviously you want to know where is this property located. This property, it is located in below the Centenario Park, which is Barrio Santiago. And yes, Barrio Santiago is like the hottest barrio in town. Why? Because it's really, you know, straight to the centro, or you can even like take Paseo Montejo or walk into the La Plancha, this beautiful new brand new park. Seriously, you will love it. So if you come here to Merida, you should definitely stay at Centro just to get a glimpse about this beautiful city and then walk through the 47th Street all the way into Parque La Plancha, La Plancha Park. So, hey guys, I'm telling you this because there's a lot of people that wonder, you know, I want to live in Merida Centro, too, but sometimes they are not realizing which are like the specific neighborhoods and which one would be a better fit for them. I want to tell you a little bit more about Santiago that you will have Obviously the Mercado, this beautiful place where you will find lots of places to have a good breakfast, meal, and yes, as well, good lunch in the evening. Then if you wanna go maybe into grocery stores, you can find plenty as well. If you wanna be just, you know, having a good time, or maybe you have a headache and you need to go to the pharmacy, everything is walking distance. And this beautiful house is located, you know, in a really well, see, and by the way, you wanna go into a park, you have Parque La Paz, or if you have Parque Centenario, where there's a zoo, by the way, located just walking distance from this beautiful home. So yes, being living in Santiago, it's a place where you will be able to walk all the way into Merida Centro, or in case that you want to just want to take, oh, oh, and the airport. We were forgetting about the airport. If you arrive Merida, Yucatan, obviously by plane, this is going to be like 10 minutes away from the airport. Or a lot of people now are asking, hey, Chuy, and if I arrive from Cancun, take the Mayan train. The Mayan train is going to take you about like three hours and 40 minutes from Cancun all the way here into Merida. The station of the train, it's located actually where the highway of Cancun, Merida finishes here in Merida and that's northern uh, east. So in that sense, uh, you will have to be moving from the station all the way here, like a 40 minute trip uh, by Uber, or you can always take a cab. We have obviously the best partnerships as well with different cab companies. So if you want to be received by a private cab company, let us know, we'll give you the information. So it's, in that sense, everything's gonna be, you know, ready to welcome you here in this beautiful city. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit more about a lot of things that happen, you know, for people that want to get a second home in Merida, Yucatan. And as well, when you are thinking maybe to rent, because there's a lot of people that say, this is going to be my second home and I want to know what's going to be after when I rent to, want to rent it. Or if I want to move all the way and relocate from any other city, you know, elsewhere in the world into Merida, Yucatan, how does it look like? You want to know more? Follow me. So a lot of people wanting to get a second home or relocate are looking for different, depending obviously on the size of the family. But if you're looking for someone because it's you, your partner, and you want an extra room for visitors, this is the place. We have a room here on the first floor, lower ground, and I would strongly suggest that this could be the room for you with obviously a complete bathroom, really close to the kitchen, to this beautiful swimming pool where you can be spending really cool evenings. And then this is going to be the second floor. And in the second floor, later on, we will see some those of catchers. We will find a beautiful studio 
to have like, you know, a big TV to watch all the movies and series that we want in Netflix or all this uh, Amazon Prime, why not? And then you have like this room that it could become an office if it's just like two of you guys, or if you bring someone else, that could be the other room, or it's gonna be the guest room as well for all the people, because I believe that you will have lots of people wanting to come by and visit you from time to time. I used to live in Mexico City like eight years ago, and seriously, when I moved here into Merida, Yucatan, tons of people have been calling us seriously every year, just like, hey guys, what are you doing? You know, we will be visiting Merida in a couple of weeks, and they stay with us lots of times. That's obviously if you're someone socially. If you don't want to receive anyone, that's fine as well. But just like letting you know that this beautiful house has these beautiful parts because obviously a lot of people looking for a second home, they don't want to go into a second store. So this house has particular the independence for this room in the lower ground with the whole bathroom. And just as I already mentioned, the other one in the second floor. Let's go and see that place, why not? Hey, 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 remember that if you are traveling to Merida, Yucatan and there is no certainty right now that you will move to this beautiful city and you're just visiting to assess by yourself in a first, second or third glimpse if this could be the place for you, remember that I have the real estate tours. And real estate tours is all about knowing the city, walking the city, feeling the city and not just Merida, but also the Yucatan coast. If you're interested from Cizal all the way into San Crisanto, I could be doing these real estate tours along with you. So if that is the case and you're not ready to buy, please let me know because I will be introducing you this specific service that once you visit Merida, you will feel in love as well and get the full picture about what is this city offering you for health services, all the grocery stores, in terms of public transportation, private transportation, different neighborhoods, distance, everything that you wanna know. So remember, if you want more on that, just send me a text that is on the description, send me a WhatsApp message, send me an email, and I'll come back to you. Welcome to the second floor, guys. As I already mentioned, this is the main studio where you can put here the big TV screen, and then we will have the other second room with the other full bathroom and the terrace as well to have a good, cool afternoon. Anyway, a lot of people wonder as well, hey Chuy, you know, what should I be taking into account if I will try, you know, to offer to this house? Well, you will have to install the air conditions. I can tell you where you can buy them as well. The kitchen will need, you know, to obviously the fridge, um, the stove, you need to get the stove. It could be uh, an electric stove, you know, they are well used here in Merida Yucatan and they're easy as well. You have enough space, but I guess, you know, the carpentry is going to be something that is going to be needed in the both uh, rooms, but that, that's up to you. And obviously, if you want to equip the full house, we have good interior designers. If you want, obviously, to book uh, an appointment with, uh, with them, we can be more than glad to share their contact numbers so you can be at ease and know in advance how much it's going to cost you, you know, to fully refurbish all this house, sorry, to uh, furnish, to furnish the house. Anyway, so this house, as you already have seen, it's in Santiago, it is two bedrooms, one on the first floor, the other one, and then it comes the price. The price is 4.6 million pesos. This is right now thinking that the rate exchange is 20 pesos for one USD, that would be 230,000 USD. Remember that to buy a property as a foreigner and not as a Mexican citizen, you will need to go through the land trust, one option, or the second option is to build a company and the company is going to be the one acquiring. And don't worry about it. If you wanna know more and deeper into that, we can always book a Google Meets and I will be able to share everything in this regard so you can be completely sure that making a cool investment in Merida, it's a good decision. And it's not gonna be the only one. Like seriously, here there's plenty of people around the world that we receive from the Middle East, from Europe, from Latin America, because this city, remember, is the most safe city in all the country in Mexico. It's just like 25 minutes away when you're living in the north from the beach. When you're in Merida Centro, that's gonna be like 45 minutes away from Progreso Beach, which is beautiful, it's gorgeous. And if, for example, you ending up living in this beautiful place and you wanna spend a cool uh, weekend on the beach, it's just about, you know, going into Airbnb, renting like for two nights, and you will be having this beautiful place in Merida Centro, close to everything, and then be able to as well enjoy the beach in just like 45 minutes when you're living in Merida Centro. Guys, this is Oasis. This is the house that I wanted to share with you right now. It's exclusive listing from Home and Investment. And if you want more information into this, just give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. 
I will be always ready to support with all the information and advice that you need. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and see you in the next video. Thank you so much for following us.